Hello guys and welcome to a new We Talk You Evil video. Today it's hard stuff, don't hate me for what's going to happen, but yeah, we know by now that the Mavic 2 Pro 1 inch sensor is far away in terms of quality, image quality, resolution from the Phantom 4 Pro. Yes, we're gonna talk about it, let's go inside. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome again, this is Alex Asmacher with Chivo on the camera and right from the beginning of this video we want to talk about a video that we found on YouTube made by Cliff Toten and he's done a very in-depth research and analysis of the camera, the Hasselblad the one inch sensor camera from the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. He basically says that it is not using the full one inch sensor as the Phantom 4 Pro and we're gonna leave you the link in the description, check that video out, it's really great it's one of those videos that change your mind about something so be sure to check it out so in this video here at we talk uav as we just can't improve this video all we can do is talk about it and we want to explain why this has happened we're gonna try to go back in you know in time let's see what's been happening in the drone world in the past year or a little bit more and we're gonna you know try to solve why this has been happening. Summing up a little bit what Cliff says, he just states that the one inch sensor camera, the Hasselblad camera by the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, is not using the one inch sensor because it is line skipping. If you want to understand this, just go and check the video. This means that when the drone is doing the readout of the one inch sensor, it is actually skipping lines, either the even numbers, two, four, six, eight, ten, 10, or the odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, nine, which overall means that it is, you know, losing some detail and some resolution, which is interesting. This is the one inch sensor. And this is the real sensor of DJI. You know, size matters. What Cliff also states here is that this may, may be due to overheating because he says that this gimbal is very small to put in a one inch sensor and you know, it may cause some harm when overheating. And this may be the reason why they postponed the bigger picture event. Now that's what Cliff says. And now let's talk a little bit about our own opinion here and why we do not know 100%. We, we actually doubt that it was due to overheating, but let's see why. If we go back a year, there was a big hype around the new Autel Evo because it was a promised foldable drone, which included a one inch sensor camera. Now, later we saw that it wasn't really true. We're gonna talk about this later, but it was really a big, big competitor and one of the brands that could just fight against DJI. And you have to know when you're the leader in a business area, just everyone wants to beat you. So the competition is gonna be very hard and they're gonna hit you and fight you on your lower points. And the Mavic Pro 1, a lot was talked about the possibility of having a better camera. So Autel was going to solve that. The problem overall was that Autel was very silent. We didn't know a lot, but afterwards it came also with a 4K 60, which Mavic 2 does not even have. And after that, we saw that you could only buy it in the US and we, for example, here tried to purchase it and they just wouldn't ship it to us. And then we had Parrot on the other hand, which did not talk a lot about the Anafi, but when it came out, it had a zoom, a zoom telephoto zoom lens that you could actually with one single lens be doing zoom. And then you just have to think, you're DJI, you're the leader in the drone business and suddenly all that you were including in the Mavic 2 series, your flagship drone, is suddenly not new anymore. Autel promised the one inch sensor, we don't know if it's coming or not, but they are doing it at least, we do know that. And second, Parrot has just killed your option, your nice and new thing about the Zoom. So suddenly, all of a sudden, in a few months, you are not leading the drone industry anymore in terms of new technology. And then, all of a sudden, you start rushing. In the video we left you at the description, Cliff states, as we've said, that it may be due to overheating and that what possibly was happening for canceling the bigger picture event, it was that a couple of weeks before the event, the DJI engineers just went to you know the board or whoever's responsible at DJI and said, hey guys, we have a problem. The sensors are burning. We are just destroying the drone. And it sounds really possible. It is a possibility, but 
we doubt this. Well, when I say burning, I mean hot pixels or, you know, adding some noise to the image out of the excess of heating. Hello? Yeah, is this DJI? Yeah, I'd like to order something. Yeah, a one inch sensor. Yeah, but a real one, please. Thank you. Now, at this point, you may agree or disagree with DJI marketing strategies and you know that they have been really special. And just think a little bit. If you announce a one inch sensor camera drone developed by Hasselblad, you know that people are going to test it and to do reviews and comparisons and eventually they're gonna find out and sooner than later. We also did in this channel a couple of uh, tests. We've been doing reviews and comparisons after the reviews where everything was brilliant and we saw that there was some difference among the quality of the Mavic 2 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro. So lying to the customer is not really an option and I don't really believe that they have done this with this intention. So up to this point in this video, I want to make you a question. Just imagine or figure yourself as the board of DJI and you have to do a, you have a decision. What's going to bring you more profit? Yeah! Saying that you have a one-inch sensor camera developed by Hasselblad, being that half the truth, or actually making that real and just wiping out your Phantom series completely. We all know by now that people buy drones, well, they buy actually everything by highlights. We've seen that on the megapixel resolution on the phones, right? Who cares about the sensor size? We've seen this on the storage capacity of a micro SD, who cares about the writing speed or buying an iPhone because who cares about having the same quality in four times less price. People are buying the one inch sensor camera drone developed by Hasselblad and that's a fact and hey it's not a bad drone it's actually we're in love with this drone this is not about hating the drone it's the best drone the best foldable drone out there and for the price the value is you just can't beat it and overall the image quality dynamic range color science noise performance is top it's really top quality so we're just talking here about the resolution so for us here at we talk uav this is all due to two things. First of all, you want to protect the Phantom series. Of course, what would be the sense to launch and release a drone with the same quality and specs than your top consumer drone and you know, this just doesn't make any sense. You want to protect that for the Phantom 4 Pro and of a possible Phantom 5 coming in the future that we are very positive that it will come sometime soon. So this is the first reason. I can't trust you anymore. You lied to me. And second, as we're not quite sure about the heating problem and we actually doubt a lot about this, it's all, we believe it's all about timing. You know, DJI never released this type of drones in the summertime. You know, you rather do this the end of the year, the beginning of the year, you know, Christmas, people are spending more money. Summer didn't seem to be the right time. But of course, the problem is that 2018 Hotel and Parrot have been, you know, having their nose on top of DJI and you just can't let this happen. And for me, they just couldn't wait until November. This would give the others a lot of time, you know, open possibilities to make people be able to fight against you and you just don't want this to happen. This would mean YouTube channels, people reviewing Hotel drones, Parrot drones and, you know, saying, hey, guys, the drones are pretty good because they are really good and, you know, people could start thinking or asking themselves, are DJI drones needed? We can live without them. And this is for us the real reason for the whole video. Well, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. We hope that we made our points clear. We know that you may disagree with things that we've said here. so. Just leave them in the comments. You know that we do answer and you know that we love people that discuss these things with us. So we'll be very happy to, you know, keep doing this kind of videos and entertaining while we are trying to explain things that have been happening in the business. So guys, nothing really else to say. Leave a like for Chivo on the camera. Sub if you're not subbed yet and the bell, you know, all that stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. Always remember to keep calm and talk to you again.